This Rochester Razor Sharks update is brought to you by Betlam Heating and Cooling and Bryant and Stratton College. Hi, I'm Laura Polino with your Rochester Razor Sharks update. Training camp opened up December 18th with 17 players invited, including eight returning players from last year's championship team. How has this training camp been different for you now that you're running the show? Uh, I mean, I don't really approach things differently. I mean, basically, we've had a year of practice, and, uh, you know, it's different having, making the decisions uh, of who's here. But other than that, um, we've got a lot of returning guys, and, and that makes things helpful. Uh, you know, you've got to get the new guys acclimated to our system and stuff like that. So it's kind of, you know, more of an adjustment period for a lot of guys and trying to get them up to speed of what, how we do things with the Razor Sharks. You man, you know, when you're, when you're the top dog, you know, everybody brings their best shot at you every night. So, you know, no pressure, same pressure as always. I left here with a championship. I'm trying to leave here again with a championship. So come in with the same attitude and let's follow through. Rochester looks to continue their winning streak following last season's championship win. The Razor Sharks swept the three-game championship series with a game two one-point win over the Lake Michigan Admirals. Don't forget to purchase your tickets for opening night, New Year's Eve, December 31st at 7 p.m. at Blue Cross Arena. Following that will be fireworks in downtown Rochester at 10 p.m. This has been Laura Polina with your Razor Sharks Media Network.